Okay, we're going to revisit the TTY screen, and this time we're going to talk about GPM. Let me drop down to the terminal first. Control Alt F1, and I'm already logged in, but here's some content. And when you install this GPM package, what does it stand for? General Purpose Mouse Interface. So basically, you have, you know, you can use your mouse cursor from the command line console here. So you move it around, look at this, you have this little dot here. It's kind of like you're playing Pong and you go boop, boop, but there's no ball so you know you can do it. Um, you can highlight the whole thing if you want and it's just like in Linux where you, let's say you highlight this portion here, right, and um, oh shit, let's say you highlight this portion here and you middle click to paste it. Uh, simple as that. Another way you can do this is just like double click. Let's say you just want this file only double click and then you paste. Same thing would you do you know when you have your X session and all that. Um, by default I think they set it up for you automatically but if you ever want to configure it yourself you can always run um, this command here. So let me show you here. If you want to reconfigure it yourself you can go sudo dpkg reconfigure and then you type in GPM, type in your password, and they give you this little end curse interface where they, they tell you, you know, some of your options you can do. You can use tab to go, you know, between options, or you can use your arrow keys. And this one asks you if you want to restart it. Uh, we'll click no here, push enter. This one is asking if, let's say you have a different mouse. Like I said, by default, um, I think only on Debian here they'll set up automatically for you but like I said if you want to you know change it to what uh, you like it or maybe it doesn't work or something like that then you can always change it and right now it's asking us uh, you know which mouse do we have and the default one is actually you can use it with uh, USB also so the PSAUX here uh, even though it says PS2 which is um, that little port that's not USB but it actually works with the USB also so we just hit uh, OK, and it gives you us, you know, the little information about some of these things that you can do, uh, depending on what mouse you have or trackpad or whatever the hell it is. Uh, I think even different languages and all that, it might detect like different buttons or whatever. But yeah, you see, it says uh, PS2 mice here, and you see that it says Auto PS2, and you can read a little description on it. But it says that you can use USB with it also so that's why I, you know you can choose uh, the PS2 one anyways we just tab and put, click on OK here and this is the option that we're going to type in right it's already there by default hit OK and all these other stuff is um, optional you can actually uh, increase I guess this is like sensitivity or something like that or no responsiveness the mouse responsiveness but yeah just leave all this thing the same if you really want to change it and you know what you're doing and you can go ahead and do that but really you don't have to do shit but yeah that's it it will restart it and um, you configure it if you ever need to like manually stop it you can always do um, sudo services gpm and then stop right and you can go if you want to start it again you will start and I'll start it up again I think you can go restart too if you ha ever have you know have any problems and I'll just stop in and restart it um, in one step. Anyways, those are the commands for reconfiguring your GPM and then start and stop and restart it. Uh, if you ever need your, you know, your mouse cursor from the console here, which is kind of convenient sometimes if you're using like um, maybe a command line browser or something like that, which I'll probably talk about later on. Anyways, that's it for this one. GPM is in your repositories. All right.